Well, you just said that you think Russia is, is disrupting things in Ukraine uh, to meddle with the election. President Obama last week, as you know, basically lowered the bar for these tougher sanctions right. on entire sectors right. of the Russian economy. He said originally he had said it would be if they invaded. Now he's saying if they meddle in the Ukrainian elections. Do you think that Russia is meddling in the Ukrainian elections so much so that those sectoral sanctions should be imposed? No question. I mean, no question. I've been saying that for weeks. And, Jake, we don't have to hit entire sectors. Uh, what we can do is hit four banks. And our bill lays out, by the way, which four banks we should hit. These are what are called second party sanctions. In other words, it's business that we do between ourselves and these institutions. It will send a really strong signal to the Russian economy. But it's not something that implicates Europe. And I do think right now we're hiding. We're hiding behind Europe as it relates to these sanctions. Uh, it's very evident that we're not really willing to lead on this issue. But yes, I think we should hit uh, four banks, uh, uh, one or two of the energy companies, not the entire sectors, but just to let Putin know that there is a price to pay for the meddling that's taking place, the intimidation of the troops, plus what we know they're doing through black ops inside the country, no question is destabilizing the country. You're watching, it on, you're watching it on your television screen. And yet we're doing nothing, nothing to change their behavior. The sanctions we've put in place are nothing more than tweaks. They're not things to affect how people inside Russia feel about what's happening.